Hello viewers, my name is Peter Rugman. I'm the workshop supervisor here at Nicholas Meehan Company. It's my responsibility to ensure the smooth running of all of our experienced technicians amongst all of our various departments here. Today, I'm really excited to share with you one of the projects that we've been working on over the winter period, the refurbishment and makeover of this gorgeous 2008 DBS manual. Last year, a very good client of ours expressed an interest in purchasing a new Aston Martin. The DBS has already established itself as a desirable vehicle amongst drivers, collectors, and enthusiasts. The client's requirements were quite specific. He wanted an example of excellent quality, something that he could cherish for the long term. But he also stated that he didn't want one that was black, gray, or silver. You may be interested to learn that of all the production cars, 72% of the vehicles produced were produced in black, silver, or gray. So you can understand why he wanted something a little bit more unique. With the brief in hand and the challenge accepted, the sales team turns to their extensive contacts to try and find the perfect car for the customer. And this is the car we're going to look at today. The car in front of me, the focus of our video today, is the DBS six-speed manual. Built between 2007 and 2012, they built just over 970 of these production cars for global consumption, making it a relatively rare car. This car, just one of nine to be built in this spectacular color, Tempest Blue, a color that changes depending on the lighting conditions. And inside the car, obsidian black hide, offset with a contrast red stitching. This rare find spent the last 14 years in the Channel Islands, which goes a long way to explaining why it's got such a low mileage of just 16,000 miles. Having secured the vehicle for our client, our priority was to get it in the workshop and carry out a pre-sales inspection on the vehicle. And I'm happy to say that the vehicle was actually in very good condition. But unsurprisingly, due to the vehicle being 14 years old, there were a small number of stone chips or small areas of surface corrosion on the vehicle. Given the standard that we knew our client wanted to achieve, we felt the best course of action was to carry out a full body paint respray to ensure the consistency of paint finish and color match. With the paint corrections carried out, it was then down to our service team and our service technicians to carry out the scheduled servicing on the vehicle and any of the mechanical issues that we found during our inspection. With all of that completed, we then invited our client to come down and view the car here at Essendon Berry Farm. During that visit, we started brainstorming to see what we could do to start personalizing the vehicle, which as enthusiasts ourselves, we really enjoy doing. So to show you what we did next and show you the end results, I'll hand you over to Adam in our trim department to show you what we did on the interior of the vehicle. Hi, I'm Adam, trim and upholstery specialist here at Nicholas Me & Company. When I first inspected this particular DBS, like many cars of this age, the leather panels on the dashboard uh, had suffered from shrinkage caused by UV light. It's a natural thing to happen to leather sitting right uh, in front of the windscreen. Same for the rear parcel shelf, again, suffered from uh, shrinkage. When discussing with the client, the option of obsidian black hide replacement was put forward to him, but he opted for the dark gray Alcantara to match the seat centers and headlining. I think it really works and lifts the cabin. So first up was the upper dash panels known in the trade as hockey sticks. They were removed and retrimmed in dark grey Alcantara. Up next is the instrument binnacle, again trimmed in dark grey Alcantara. We've carried on the contrast red stitching to match the centre console and seating. So we've also retrimmed the rear parcel shelf in dark grey Alcantara. Also retrimmed was the main part of the rear parcel shelf in black leather with red contrast stitching uh, as per the rest of the car. The steering wheel has also been retrimmed, dark grey Alcantara bottom, perforated leather top with contrast red stitching as per original spec. The client has also opted for the carbon fibre waterfall and gear shifts around. Uh, note the Alcantara gator as well with, again, red contrast stitching, pulling in the Alcantara into the uh, centre console here. Finally, the custom headlining. Our client previously owned a DB9 GT, uh, which has a fluted headlining, so we've replicated it in his DBS. Added touches are the red stitching, Alcantara, centre stripe, and then a bright red pinstripe in the middle. This is a really unique feature of the car now, completely one-off, and uh, it really lifts the cabin. The, 
the red uh, injects the bit of color to the headlining. It pulls all the stitching on the binnacles, seats, elsewhere in the cabin all together uh, and makes a really, really smart interior. We really do enjoy doing these bespoke commissions. If you'd like to discuss with us any future projects on your car, then we'd be more than happy to have a chat. You're more than welcome to come down in person or contact via phone or email and we can help you to discuss bringing your vision to life. Thank you, Adam, for that. Now with the personalization projects and the interior of the vehicle complete, it's time to show you what else we've been up to on the exterior of the vehicle. Starting at the front of the car, the traditional silver grille has been replaced by a black finish grille, which we have seen on later DBS, such as the DBS Ultimate cars. We think it looks great on this car, giving it a more contemporary look. Coming around to the side of the car, we have replaced the original silver side strakes with these sleek and stylish carbon fiber trims. And to complete the look, black side straight meshes. And in addition, we continue the theme with the black bonnet meshes. The standard wing mirror covers have been upgraded to carbon fiber. The new theme has continued at the rear of the car. The rear light clusters have been upgraded and the rear light infills have been changed to carbon fiber too. The black tailpipe finishes complete the look. To keep the car in the condition it is now, the final stage of the process was full body PPF coverage to protect the new paintwork for many years to come. To complement the visual upgrades, the customer also requested an upgrade to the vehicle's infotainment system. With smartphones being such an integral part of our lives these days, the customer wanted a system in the car that allowed him to use his new phone. Apple CarPlay or Android Auto can be added to the DBS to keep it up to date with the most recent technology, allowing him to enjoy enhanced phone integration, music, and the latest mapping apps, all to help contribute to the best possible driving experience. And there you have it, the 2008 Aston Martin DBS, reborn and reimagined. We hope that you love this car as much as we do. We really hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. And if there is anything that you would like to know more about, any of the upgrades on the car, please feel free to get hold of us as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching.